This is a quick video on how to find the intercepts of a rational function. This is part of a series of videos that I'm doing on rational functions. A rational number is a number that's written as a fraction. A rational function looks like it's in fraction form. So if you take a look right now, we have f of x is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 3 over x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 5. So what we need to do is find the x and y intercepts. To find the y-intercept of any graph, not just for our rational functions, what you're going to do is set x equal to 0. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to substitute 0 wherever I see an x. So 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 3 over 0 minus 1, 0 plus 2, 0 minus 5. So then I go ahead and I simplify here. 0 minus 2 is negative 2 times 3 over negative 1 times 2 times negative 5. We get negative 6 over positive 10. And this can be simplified to negative 3 over 5. So my y-intercept is the point 0 comma negative 3 over 5. So to find the y-intercept, very simple. All you have to do is substitute a 0 for x and that'll give you the y-intercept. When you go to find the x-intercept of a rational function, you have to remember that in a fraction, first of all, division by zero is mathematically impossible. So the denominator is gonna be responsible for telling us what the vertical asymptotes are. So clearly right here, I'm gonna have three vertical asymptotes. And these vertical asymptotes are going to be x equals one, x equals negative 2 and x equals 5 because that is what's going to make my denominator equal to 0. In order for me to find the x-intercepts, 0 divided by any number is 0. So to find the x-intercepts of a rational function, we're going to set the numerator equal to 0. In this case, if x minus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 0, then either x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 3. So those are going to be my x-intercepts, the points 2 comma 0 and negative 3 comma 0. So to find y-intercept, substitute 0 for x everywhere you see an x. But to find the x-intercept in a rational function, which kind of looks like a fraction, all you have to do is take the numerator and set it equal to 0. Hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more help with math so that you can say, yes, I can do math with confidence. Until next time, thanks for watching.